president. He was elected to public office as a reformer, someone who promised to clean up St. Louis County government. But next month, former County Executive Steve Stanger will officially be a federal inmate. Having your side investigative reporter Jacob Long is live at the federal courthouse where Stanger was sentenced earlier today. Jacob. Well, Steve Stanger, county executive, uh, the former county executive prosecutors say back in October 2013 when he was first running for that office, told his supporters at the time that he was going to be the one to clean up county government. And now prosecutors say he has done the exact opposite, arguing that Stanger knew all along everything he was doing, they say he knew was wrong, but they say he just didn't care about the lives he was ruining. Our cameras not allowed inside for today's sentencing hearing. However, we did catch him on the outside arriving for court today with his defense attorney, Scott Rosenblum. Prosecutors say Steve Stanger, this is a man motivated solely by politics and that his illegal actions affected our region more than any other public corruption, corruption case that they've handled in recent years. Back in May, Stanger pled guilty to multiple federal corruption charges tied to a years long pay to play scheme. He used his position as county executive to drive high dollar county contracts to his campaign political donors. Now he's headed to prison for almost four years. No comment from Stanger outside of the courtroom today, but Rosenblum says his client is sorry and deeply regrets his actions. I have no doubt that he'll take this period of incarceration to better himself, to continue to take programs. And when he gets out, as you see, he's a very, very hardworking man that's been very successful. And I have no doubt he will continue to be successful in his next endeavor. Now, the sentence of 46 months is the maximum, near the maximum at least, that Stanger could have gotten under the guidelines for the charges he's facing. He also has to pay a fine of a quarter of a million dollars. As for reporting to prison, he has to do that himself. September the 21st at the latest is when he has to be there, and that's largely because his wife is expecting a baby about eight days before that. We're live downtown. Jacob Long, 5 on your side.